Hey, what's happening, everyone? Johnny Man here, and welcome to episode 5 of the second season in charge of Coventry City for my FIFA 18 career mode. So, in today's video, we have two games. We have Rotherham, and first and foremost, though, we have Northampton in the Checker Trade Trophy. So, in the last episode, uh, we signed a couple of new players, Ibrahim Salah and Frank Noble. They will both start today against Northampton in a much changed side. So, um, today's team is going to be Masonin in goal, Lachini at left back, Grimmer at right back, McDonald Willis through the middle. Kyle Finn's going to start on the left hand side today with Dominguez on the right with Brown Salah through the middle and then McNulty and Noble are gonna lead the line. Alright so here we go in the uh, first match of Czech Trade Trophy for the season up against uh, Northampton Town. Obviously we share a pretty interesting uh, history together. Keep in mind we shared grounds for a season two and that's a great through ball. Noble's through on goal. Noble gets there, shoots and scores. Frank Noble gets his second goal in the Coventry City shirt. I thought he was offside for half a second, but that's 2-2 two and two now for Frank Noble. Hit the underside of the bar and I guess it crossed the line. What a good start to the game it is for Coventry City and Frank Noble. Let's take another look at that goal. It was a beautifully uh, weighted through ball from Mark McNulty. Thought uh, Noble was going to stray offside, but he didn't. And he smashed it off the crossbar and it clearly went over the line. So 1-0 to Coventry City in the first couple of minutes. What a good way to start the game. Here's the Dominguez using the skill to get away there. He's got Noble looking down the line if he can find him, and he does beautifully. Here's Frank Noble trying to get away from his defender. He's got Mignolti in the box, and he finds him beautifully. Mark Mignolti makes it 2-0. Easy as you like. Great finish there from Mark Mignolti. And maybe these two could strike up a decent partnership. They've already got a goal and assist for each other in this game alone. So that's a very positive sign of th future things to come, perhaps. Um, Mark, uh, nobody well to hold off the defender for as long as he did, and that's a beautiful cross that's laid it on a play for McNulty, and he couldn't miss from there. 2-0 to the Sky Blue Army. Here's Dominguez, looking for Carl Finn with the crossfield ball, can't find him, but it goes out as far as Lancini for uh, the reset. Here's Salah, and he gives the way far too cheap in the middle of the field, and this sets up a counter-attack now for Northampton Town. Here's Revel taken on uh, McDonald and he passes him. That's a great effort and it's narrowly over the bar. Well, that was actually a fantastic save from Masoni. I actually thought he uh, skied the bar, but obviously he tipped it over. Great save from the uh, young French goalkeeper and the ball is going to be cleared. All right, so on the eve of the first half, uh, Northampton have a good opportunity to get back in this game now from a free kick in a dangerous area. Ball's going to be whipped in. That's a good header and uh, what a save that is. Another spectacular save from Masoni or Thought that was going to loop wide, but I guess it was sneaking in that near post. And Masonal did a great job getting his big left paw down and making a great save. Here's Frank Noble. Plays it to Brown. Brown's now through. He's got options in the box. You can find him. Pulls it back. Goes to Dominguez and he hits it over the bar. Good start to the second half for Coventry City. Here's a corner kick. Let's see if we can make the most of it. Dominguez is going to whip this in. Floats it high. The keeper comes out and makes a solid punch clear. Reese Brown, however, gets the ball back. Plays it to Salah. Salah to Browns. Brown shoots from distance and it goes harmlessly wide. Good start to the second half. There's McNulty now through on goal. McNulty chance to make it three and he puts it over the bar. Horrible miss for Mark McNulty. Put a little too much on it. And it goes, I don't know, about 10 feet over the bar. Let's go play from the noble there. Founds Dominguez. Dominguez gets the byline. He plays across the noble. Chance for make it 3-2 uh, for him and 3 for Coventry City. Great finish from Frank Noble there, and a solid assist work from uh, Andre Dominguez getting up the right wing, taking his opportunity today. That was a very good finish past the goalkeeper there from a very, very tight angle, and it's a uh, 3-0. Yeah, take another look at this. Dominguez just holding the ball and up. Good run from Noble. Beautiful way to pass, and uh, that's a very, very good finish there from our new sign-in. That's three goals in two games for the new man. There's a chance for Northampton to get back in this game. Lancini can't deal with it. The ball bounces around the box. It falls to Andre, who finally makes the pass clearance. Here's Dominguez. Dominguez, McNulty. McNulty to Noble. Noble's turn is defender beautifully here. He's got the pace and strength to get away. He does. See if he can get be his man. His chance for his hat trick now. And that's uh, defender's done very, very well there to hold off Frank Noble. Because that is a big guy uh, to try and hold off. And a defender did very, very well for Northampton. There's a chance now for Northampton. Oh, he's got past the uh, Lancini far too easy. And that's a good save from Arsonial. Dominguez is there to clean up the loose ball. And uh, Grimmer's going to put this into touch. Uh, good ball there from Noble. Here's Brown. 
Brown's got McNulty in the box. He's looking for Dominguez. Can't quite reach him. The ball's going to be cleared. There's only a few minutes of added on time now. So this game is pretty much wrapped up. It's good to get back to winning ways after that 2-1 uh, defeat against uh, Doncaster. Here's a chance to make it 4-0. Well, that's a fantastic sliding challenge there from Barnes. He's been absolutely amazing today. He's uh, held Noble to two goals, but uh, he's had a really good display in the back for Northampton. But a uh, good win there, 3-0, very comfortable. Uh, two goals for Frank Noble and uh, one for Mark Nolte set us on our way. Man of the match obviously goes to Frank Noble with a 9.5. As far as assists go, Dominguez, Noble and McCartney, McCult sorry, McNulty get an assist today. So overall, a very, very pleasing performance. All right, time for the next matchup against Wolfram. These are some of the team changes. Obviously, we turn back to pretty much our full strength side. Um, Masona is going to be in goal. Haynes, the left back. We're a right back. Turnbull Willis for the middle. Kraus on the left wing. Jones on the right wing. Salah and Stevenson will uh, play midfield together again. And then McNulty and Noble have actually chosen to lead the line just because they formed such a good partnership last game out. I want to try this again up against Wolfram. All right, so here we go up against Wolfram today. Obviously, uh, Frank Noble has uh, three goals in two games since signing for the club for a mere £650,000. At the moment, that's looking like a bargain. Let's hope he continues that form today. Masono throws out the Kraus. Kraus got plenty of space to run into here. Right to feet of McNulty. McNulty cross through a ball to Jones. Jones to Stevenson. Stevenson's the feet of Frank Noble. Holds the ball up. Plays it to McNulty, his strike partner. It's a good ball, Jones to McNulty at the edge of the area. McNulty shoots, and what a goal that is for Mark McNulty. That came completely out of the blue there. Did not expect Mark McNulty to hit it from there, but that was a um, fantastic goal there. Honestly, I didn't mean to strike it from there, and I did not expect it to go into the far corner. But that is a wonderful strike from Mark McNulty, and it's an early lead for uh, the Coventry City. Good clean there from Grimmer to the feet of Jones. Jones got the ball back after a tackle. Jones is streaking forward here. He finds the feet of Noble. Noble turns his man beautifully. Here's a chance for Noble. Oh, off the inside of the post. Unlucky there for Frank Noble. Great run and shot there from the big man. Unfortunately, he could not make it 4-3. But I got a funny feeling he's going to get some chances today. And here's a through ball now. Speaking of chances... Here's a chance for Rovin to get back in the game. That's a good save from Antonio Marsonial. He's been uh, absolutely marvellous this season. Made some key saves already. Balls whipped in. That's a good clearance there by Kraus. Oh, that's a great challenge. But the ball's fallen kindly for the Rovin striker. And it's 1-1. One, one. Willis did well in the initial tackle to get across and make a block. But unfortunately, the ball fell straight back to, I think it's Michael Proctor. And uh, he just tucks it home. Is it Michael Proctor? I don't think it is. I think in Michael Proctor may be a strike from the early 2000s. Um, we'll find out in just one second. We'll get his full name. And it is Jamie Proctor. Yeah, Michael Proctor was the uh, former Sunderland striker from the early 2000s. I've been playing a lot of championship manager lately. So that's probably why I have him on the mind. Oh, it's a great ball by Noble. Here's Kraus. He's got McNulty at the back post. You can find him, but the keeper makes the punch. And the ball is going to be cleared. Unfortunately, that's the issue there. And we got Big Nolte coming in off the left. He isn't a left-footed player, so he has to cut back to his right. Here's a throw in, though, in a perhaps dangerous area. He finds Jody Jones. Noble's in the box. He whips it in. Back post to Kraus. And that's an unexpected goal. Tom Kraus at the back post of a header. I did not see that one coming. He's not really known for his heading ability. I think he's only like 5'8", 5'7". He's not a big guy. But he found himself all alone in the back post. And that's a fantastic cross from Jody Jones as well. And uh, the keeper made a real mess of that. He really should have stopped it. I, don't know, I, think, I think Kraus was surprised by uh, actually made, making contact with it. And uh, the keeper really should have stopped that one. But it all counts. It is 2-1 to the Sky Blue Army. And there's the halftime whistle. So we're taking a 2-1 lead just before the uh, just before the halftime whistle blew. So very pleasing stuff. Obviously, uh, Wolfram had their chances. I'm hoping we can defend a bit better in the second half and uh, work on our ball retention because right now possession for us is a little sloppy. And that's something that I can definitely uh, improve on in the second half. There's Noble. Looking for the one of Stevenson. He finds him. He's got McNulty at the back post, but he checks out Jones instead. Jones turns, shoots, and puts it wide. 
Spotted Stevenson didn't pick out McNulty there, but you found uh, uh, Jody Jones. He did well to get away from his man, and uh, fortunately could not get his shot on target. All right, so Masonial tips the ball behind and it goes out for a corner kick. We've taken off Tony Kraus and replaced him with uh, Andrea instead. And there's uh, the punching clearance from Masonial, but only as far as Cummins for uh, Rotherham here. He puts the ball back in the box, and that's a difficult one to deal with. And Masonial decides to punch, hoping he will catch it, and the ball goes behind for what will be a goal kick. That's a fantastic ball to Andrea. First time on the volley! Oh, he's going for the spectacular effort there. He could have time to pour it down and maybe find the uh, find a corner, but, but he decided to go for the spectacular. You know what? I applaud the effort. And uh, with that in mind, we'll make a change. We'll bring on Stuart Bevan now for Mark McNulty. It's good to have a player like Stuart Bevan on the bench to bring on, uh, just in situations like these. All right, just five minutes left to go in this game. Here's another chance for Rotherham. They're really starting to pack on the pressure, but uh, Masonial does well to gather the loose ball and throws it out to... Uh, to Noble, who lays it off to Kelly. Kelly to Andrea. Andrea. He finds a feet in Noble. Noble finds Bevan, who's through on goal, but defender just outmuscles him. And that's an easy, should be an easy clearance. And Bevan almost got in there from a goalkeeping mistake. And now we're into added on time. Here's Noble. Noble finds Andrea. Andrea to the feet of Bevan. Bevan to Noble again. Noble. And he's going to score. And that makes it 3 1. Frank Noble. What a finish that is from Earth. That is his uh, fourth goal now in three appearances for the Sky Blues. He's deserved it. He's been absolutely magnificent up top today. Holding the ball up, finding little spaces, and uh, a great through ball from there from Stuart Bevan, and a very, very emphatic finish from the new signing. So he's had a great start to his career here. A uh, great little through ball from Bevan, and then from there, Noble wasn't going to miss. Great finish there. And 3-1 uh, is going to be the final scoreline, I believe. As soon as it kicks off, I expect it to be the full-time whistle. Anytime, referee. Yep, there it is. Full-time whistle has gone, and we've won the game 3-1. Maybe a little bit uh, generous in our, in our favor. Um, Rotherham had most of the second half. Um, we got lucky at the end of the first half. Tom Krause getting that second goal for us. Um, but you know what? You know what? It's good. To, a good team always finds a way to win, and uh, we definitely proven ourselves to be a very good team today. Let's take a look at those match ratings. Uh, Joey Jones got man of the match uh, with two assists. Uh, Bevan got an assist, obviously himself, for the last goal, um, and goals for Frank Noble, and then obviously Krause and McNulty get on the score sheet as well. So there you have it. Um, it's in Rotherham, three ones in the episode. That's a good way to finish the episode. Uh, let's take a look at the league table, see where we're at. Uh, we're currently in third place behind uh, Doncaster and Portsmouth, respectively. Uh, three wins, one draw, and one loss from so far from the five games we've played. Obviously, I'm beating the cup competitions as well, which is very pleasing stuff. Um, let's take a look at some of the fixtures ahead and talk about some of the upcoming games. So next up in the next episode, we have Barry and MK Dons. And if we have time, we'll do Oxford United as well. But um, thank you guys so much for watching the episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. Um, if you're enjoying it, uh, please remember to hit a like on the video. And if you want to see more videos by me in the future, please hit subscribe and turn those notifications on. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.